Hey everybody and welcome to an all new video with Matt when we are going to be showing you how to make this outhouse birdhouse guys. It's pretty cool so stick around and I'm going to show you how. Alright so here's a quick list of the stuff we will need to get started. You'll need a circle or miter saw, a tape measure, a pen or pencil, speed square. You'll need a jigsaw, some finished nails, a 1 inch to 2 inch size hole saw depending on what kind of bird you want to track. You'll need a drill, some cabinet knobs, some small hinges. You'll need a Crescent Moon template. You can draw it yourself if you're that good. Small drill bits and a hammer. Alright guys, so first things first is you need to start off with a couple of pallet boards, alright? So you need to go ahead and break at least one full pallet down and you want to make sure that they are the 6 inch style boards for this project. Alright, so the next thing I want to do guys is take two of my longer boards that I have and what I want to do is go ahead and pop my angle marks on there guys. So what I'm going to do is take my speed square stick it at the edge of the board just like this but i want to go below any nail marks or screw marks you don't want that in your cuts and stuff but put it at the edge right here and you're just going to barely cock it over until you get the 10 degree mark lined up with this edge right here let me zoom in so you guys can see got the 10 degree mark right here on the edge so then i want to go ahead and just draw that line right so that will be one of the sideboards. And then you do the same thing with another board. You want to avoid any nail marks or any cracks in the board and stuff. Like I said, you just stick it on the edge. Cock it back nice and straight just like that till you get the 10 degree mark. And then pop your line just like that, guys. So we can go ahead and cut those two angles on the boards now. Alright, and to make sure that I get a nice and good cut, guys, what I want to do is just line them up the best I can, right? And we're going to cut both boards at the same exact time going off of one of the mark lines right there. So that way we know both our boards are the exact same. Alright, so now we got both of our boards cut at the top angle for our roof pitch. So now what you want to do, guys, is go to your top point on each board. And you want to pull your measurement from that top point, And you want to go ahead and mark it at 12 inches. And then copy a nice straight line. And then do that for your other board and go ahead and cut those out and then we'll have both of our side pieces. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do with one of my leftover boards from cutting the sideboards is I'm going to pull straight and make a straight line at 7 inches and then go ahead and cut that guys. That will be your roof and being at 7 inches, it'll allow you to have about an inch of overhang on both sides of the roof pit. So let's go ahead and get that piece cut out now. Alright guys, so for our base of the piece, what we're going to do is you need to go and measure your width of your board, right? And in my case, it's exactly five and a half, guys. So whatever the width of your board is that you're using, you want to pull that exact same measurement and go ahead and mark that just like right here. Mine's five and a half wide, so I went five and a half, made that mark. So now I need to cut that. That is going to be our base. All right, so the next thing you want to do is take one of your side boards. And you remember how earlier we measured from the top point this way and marked our measurement at 12 inches right there. Well, now we're going to do it on the bottom part right here, guys. So go ahead and measure that 
from point to point. I've got 10 and 3 quarters, so I need to go ahead and mark a board and cut that at 10 and 3 quarter, and that will be the back of the piece. All right, guys, so the next thing I need to do is cut out a door for the front. So what I'm going to do is I stuck two of my side boards side by side onto the back board. And then I just measured the distance between the two boards to the end of the board. And that left me four and a half inches. So I want my door to be as tall as possible. So we're going to go 12 inches long, cut that there. And then what we're going to do is cut it at four and a half inches. I don't know if you can see my lines or not, but I measured from here, marked it at four and a half, and popped the line right across that. So we'll go ahead and get that cut out now. And that will allow us the space to put the door in between the two side pieces, right? So let's go ahead and get that cut out next. All right, so at this point now, you should have all of your boards to put the main frame of the house together. You got your two sides, you got your back piece, you got your front door, you got your base, and you have your roof. So let's get started putting this thing together. All right, guys, so let's start assembling this. What you need to do is take your two side pieces, and then you need to take your back piece, right? You need to get them on a nice flat surface like this. I would be outside right now, but it just started pouring rain. So I had to bring everything inside, guys. But we are going to get this built. Like I said, start with your two sides and your back piece, right? And what you're going to want to do is line those boards up nice and flush with each other. And then what you can do is, like I did, is I took a tiny drill bit. I marked the spots. And I went ahead and pre-drilled a hole through the board and into this board. And then I hammered my nails into each of these four corners down here, guys. Now, you don't have to do it that way. You can use, like, screws if you want to. Just make sure you countersink your holes or you'll split your board. Or you can use, like, a little nail gun or something, right? But I just use some little hand-driven nails for this project. So, like I said, got that lined up. Got these four corners on and attached, right? So, next, we're going to put on our base. All right, so we got our base piece right here. And what you want to do, guys, to get everything lined up nice and smooth is you want to make sure you got one side of it lined up nice and perfect, right? And then go ahead and do the same thing. Pre-drill you some holes in the tops right here and go ahead and shoot you some nails in that. And then once you shoot your nails into this side, you will be able to bend over this other side piece and get it nice and lined up also guys so go ahead and get your nails put in your base all nice and flush all right so now we've got our base put on so now we are ready to put our roof on guys and you just want to come to one end and mark it around like a quarter inch and then you want to put that on top and you want to quarter inch mark to overhang on the front side, right? So you want to get it about like right there on both sides. And the same thing like you did with the base. You want to get one side nailed down nice and flush first in two corners like this. And then you can pull the other side and line it up and then put you two more nails or screws whatever you're using out there so go ahead now and get your roof put on remember like i said use like a little quarter inch marker or something like that and it can be a half inch if you want it to be it's up to you but i like to give it just a little overhang in the front and then make sure it also falls off at the back all right, so we got our roof nailed on now, guys. As you can see, that's what the inside looks like. And the sides with the roof right there, pitched right there. So what we're going to do now is just stick this to the side for now and get our door piece and go ahead and get some holes drilled and our moon cut out. All right, guys, so now we've got our door piece here. So we've got our little knob that we're going to use so different sizes may vary so just get the size of that screw for that drill bit guys and then i'm going to use a two and a half inch drill bit right here 
for my hole because I like to attract the bigger birds. I've always noticed the seems like the smaller the hole, you hardly even attract any birds with them, guys. So I'm gonna go with the two and a half inch hole. And like I said, I just measured from the top down about seven inches, and then I marked the center of the board. So now I will go ahead and take my drill and this hole saw, and I'll go ahead and get my hole right there then i will get this place based off the hole i went ahead and put a mark here but i wasn't thinking about the diameter so i might have to bump this little doorknob down a little bit guys but that'll be okay so i'm gonna go ahead and get this hole drilled out first all right so we've got our hole for the birds now guys so what i want to do now is take my little doorknob right here i just want to kind of place it so that this doesn't overlap the hole just as close as i can as possible then what I want to do is put a mark right there where that screw would be guys by simply just lining it up putting a little mark here and a mark there and then I'll use a speed square connect the lines like a plus sign and that'll give us our center for the screw so that we can put the little doorknob on next. Alright, so now we can take our screw and our little doorknob right here. Go ahead and just put that screw through the back. Just like that. And then we can go ahead and screw that on. And we'll screw that on until it's nice and tight. And then you probably need a screwdriver or something, guys, to get it a little bit more snug to the door. All right, so now we can move on to cutting out our little crescent moon on the door. All right, guys, so now for the crescent moon part, you can do like I did and just go on Google Images and print out a crescent moon just like this and just cut it out and you don't want to go too big but you don't want to be too tiny either guys you just want to have it kind of medium size right there in the middle like that so what i'm going to have to do with mine is cut it out and then place it where i want it and then trace it with a pencil or pen right and get it to the points that i want it or you can just draw it on there yourself guys if you're that skilled at drawing stuff so let's go ahead and get this moon cut out real quick i will get it in place where i want it on the door and then we will trace this design out and get ready to cut it with the jigsaw All right, guys, so it ain't no Picasso or nothing like that, but there is the Crescent Moon drawn on there. So what I'm going to do now to relieve some of the tension from the jigsaw we're going to use, I'm going to just take some small drill bits. That's about roughly a little bit bigger than the thickness of the blade. And what I'm going to do is just put a couple of little holes in the spots that will just make it so much easier and go ahead and cut little pieces out so trying to do one solid piece in the middle of this board right here so hopefully everything goes good we're going to go ahead and cut this out now So there we go, we got our moon cut out, we got a hole cut out, and we've got our little knob on there guys. So now what is next to do is to set your door inside just like that. And then we'll need to go ahead and get our hinges on right here guys. And then we're going to make a little contraption on this wall where you can just like turn a little piece of wood or something like that. So it can just stay shut and then you can like flip the latch and open the door just like that so let's go ahead and get those latches on next all right so for the hinges now guys you just want to take it and make sure you line it up nice and straight you want to put one down here towards the bottom leave maybe about a half inch to an inch gap from the line right there and go ahead and put that right there so we'll go ahead and put that and then we will put one up here at the top also just like that 
and then we will get our door lined in place and put the marks on it and then screw all that together. Alright guys, there we go. We got our hinges on and as you can see we can now open and close the door right there using the little knob right there guys. So, next thing we need to do now is just make a little simple locking mechanism. So what I did guys is because my door was just a little too wide, alright, it was just a little too wide after we mounted this on because it pushed it further that way. So I had to trim off the edge just a hair, as you can see I got a little off track right there but it'll be all right it's an it's an outhouse so you know who cares about that right so what I did is with that little piece of strip that from where I cut off you can see a little thin piece of wood what I'm gonna do is just lay it across here just like this and I'm gonna cut it about right here using my little jigsaw right there and then I'm going to nail a nail into it right here a tiny little finish nail and that way we'll be able to turn it up like that to open it and then we can just turn it this way like that and it'll keep it shut so let's go ahead and get that done real quick all right guys there we go we got our little latch put on right here by simply just cutting out that little piece of wood and drilling a hole and putting a little nail in that way we can turn it up just like this right here and still be allowed to open our door up guys there is the inside with the door opening up that way you know you can clean it out or whatever if you need to so i hope you guys enjoyed that video be sure to hit that like button down below for me guys and i will see you in the next one have a wonderful week peace